Hey guys, this is my review of the Bushmaster ACR which I added back in October last year. I'll be giving all the damage stats along with comparison and then my own opinion of the gun. Right then, so at close range you're going to do 100 to the head, 30 to the chest and arms, 35 to 36 to the body, and 20 to 21 to the legs. With armour you'll do 93 to 94 to the head, 24 to the chest, and 28 to the body. At mid-range you'll still do 100 to the head, 28 to the chest and arms, between 33 and 35 to the body, and then between 19 and 20 to the legs. With armour you'll do between 87 to 88 to the head, 22 to the chest, and 26 to the body. At long range you'll do between 99 to 100 to the head, 24 to 25 to the chest and arms, 29 to the body, 17 to the legs, and then with armour you'll do 74 to the head, 19 to the chest, and 23 to the body. Then when you shoot someone through a box, you'll do 41 to the head, 9 to the chest and arms, 11 to the body, between 6 and 7 to the legs, and with armour you'll, you'll do between 29 and 30 to the head, 7 to the chest, and 8 to the body. Right, so I'll be comparing it against a normal M4. The firing rate is ever so slightly faster than the M4. The reload of the ACR is also ever so slightly faster, and I'll play it again in slow motion so that you can see the difference. And finally, the draw speed is also faster, and I'll once again play it in slow motion so that you can see the difference. Now for my own opinion of the gun. Honestly, I think this gun is pretty good. The rifle is good at range, it's got high power, it's got good reload, good draw speed, good fire rate. There's nothing bad really about the gun. I really enjoyed using it. The only slight issue that I have with it is that the recoil, the best way to describe it is kind of like the M M14, but in the sense that it's also got vertical recoil. So the M14 has recoil where it goes left or right and it just sticks at either one. With this it seemed to go up to the left really high or up to the right really high, more so the left, but it takes a bit of adjusting to, but I mean once you've got it, it is really good. You kill people really quickly because of, because of the power, it's pretty much a three shot kill at any range. I did <laughs> I did pretty well with it when I got it, so I mean, I was having fun, it's good good to use, it's good fun. I mean, if you can, if you have the ZP and you've got nothing else to spend it on and there's no crates that you really want, then if there's any rifle that you want to choose, I'd suggest going for this, because I mean, I hardly ever see the thing, but it's really good. You've got a really solid rifle. Sure there are better ones out there, people will prefer certain guns that have slightly less recoil or say a slightly faster fire rate, etc etc, but I mean it's all down to personal preference. If you can handle the recoil you would do really really well with this gun. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed the quick review of the ACR. Be sure to check out all the other reviews I've done including the Ruger Bisley M37 Stakeout Hellfire and the Sterling. There'll be more reviews coming out over the next few weeks, so be sure to subscribe to them.